Tin Man for 3-2, and today I'm going to keep playing Mega Man X2, and next we're going to go to the Volcanic Stage, or the Fire Stage, and fight Flame Static. This is one of my favorite, well, I like all the bosses, really, except a few, but he's one of my favorites because um, he's really fast, like any fire boss should be, and his music is pretty cool. So anyway, as you can see, there's that wall there. We can't break it, but that weird beetle thing can. But that's what we want it to not do. That way it can fly up here. We can grab that, that item, sub tank. Because we are doing the item collection. So this way you could have came if you had the beetle break through there. But it will break permanently once it goes through. So in this next part, since we are in a volcano, this lava will begin rising and chase us, so we're going to want to run. And until we get up here to this heart tank, we're going to want to destroy that wall real fast, which is why I was holding the charge shot. And then run over, and it'll explode for a minute. And then we get our chance to run through. It'll just keep exploding. And then for this next part, those pillars will fall down very slowly. So you have a pretty good opportunity to get through. And there's another one of these beetle beetles. Um, as you might have seen on the map, um, there was that weird purple dude in the with this with the, the tall purple dude on the map, and that means that we have a secret mini boss here. His name is Adron. And welcome Max. Your destruction is at hand. Um, so he pulls out his sword, and he'll start attacking us. So he has two attacks, um, right now. And he'll, he'll dash up into the air and shoot a laser out of his sword. Because it's a video game. And it might not appear because my recording software isn't the best. But your goal is to jump up there onto the platform, and it'll, he'll shoot his laser thing higher. Or... Or if you're on the ground, he'll either shoot the laser slightly lower, you'll have to dash under it, or he'll dash at you swinging the sword around. So just keep doing that. Like I said, you probably can't see it. But keep going and you should be fine. Sometimes he just sits there for a few minutes, few seconds. Okay? And it's still pretty simple though. I may have failed, but you will never live to see zero. And then he teleports away and gives us zero part number three. So, there are three zero parts, as there are three X hunters, as Dr. Kane said earlier. And once we have all three parts, we can get zero back. In Mega Man X1, they made it all like a dramatic moment when zero died. But then in Mega Man X2, they just said, oh wait, he's a robot, you can rebuild him. Because it's true, you can rebuild robots. And so yeah, Zero will be in the rest of the Mega Man X games. And then he has his own series. But they tried to make it super dramatic in Mega Man X1, but then there was no reason for that. Next two. In this next part, you're climbing around, and there are those bug creatures that will set the little areas on fire. But they're not too hard to avoid. So now we're at Flame Stag. And he has a pretty, pretty large boss room. A climbing boss room, although you don't have to climb. Um, so he'll jump up like Sigma did in Mega Man X1. And then all you have to do then is take out the the bubble splash and just keep doing what I'm doing right now. Oh, I missed. How did I miss that? Oh well. Just keep doing what I'm doing right now, only don't get hit. And that can actually be a pretty uh, sad boss fight when you think about it like that. Anyway, when he gets down to half health, uh, he'll turn blue and it'll be slightly faster, I think. But he's still pretty easy if you have his weakness. Now let's flame stag. So one down. So I believe we get the speed burner as a weapon. Let's do our Mega Man X victory pose and then teleport out. Like in all Mega Man X stages. And then 
we got the speed burner. Speed burner. There we go. Um, so this weapon just shoots fire. It's... It's like, it's like most fire weapons. Anyway. Um... I know that Overdrive Ostrich is not the... Doesn't have a weakness to the speed burner, but... I find it a good boss to come uh, to take on next, so we're gonna do that. We can get all the items in the stage. Anyway, back to the speed burner. I didn't know what I was thinking about. Um, when fully charged, because we'll get the full charge shot later in the game. Um, it is basically acts as a air dash, which we will also get later in this stage. Anyway, um, I'll explain all this later when we use it to get a few items. But that, that place up there where I used the spin wheel to cut through was up to a secret secret mini boss. So that, that was there. And now we're on this speed bike. What is it with speed bosses in this game? Anyway, we're going to want to not do what I just did. And try it again. Uh, go back to the bike. And... So you're going to want to shoot down all the platforms so you can dash up and try it again. You're going to want to shoot down all the platforms so you can boost up there. And you can dash while you're on the bike, so that's good. You don't have to dash on that one, but I did. So you're going to want to dash jump on your bike, and then there's a heart tank up here. Now what's sad is that the chances that you'll die while trying to get that heart tank are pretty high, either by when you get, when you get to the heart tank or trying to get to the heart tank. But then there's these two big enemies here. Take them out. And then over here, we get our first Dr. Light upgrade. Let's see, how do I do Dr. Light? Mega Man X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your main drive unit. With it, you will be able to dash while in midair. Use it wisely, Mega Man X. Alright then, we got the air dash upgrade that I was talking about earlier. And it looks pretty awesome with the red and white and stuff. I just realized that Mega Man X is red, white, and blue right now. Um, uh, one thing that's uh, not so good about the air dash is that you can't use it after you dash. Like, you have to jump in the air and then use it. But it's still pretty useful, despite that. So anyway, uh, this boss fight has a pretty cool opening there, so take out your turbo controllers and then blast this rocket a whole bunch. Uh, I'm kidding, you don't need a turbo controller. X will do that automatically. Still looks pretty cool though. And there's Overdrive Ostrich. Looks like the Roadrunner in the background. But he'll cry out and then he'll run straight towards you. Or he'll jump. Uh, he usually does that the second time around for every other time. Except there. Oh well. He also shoots out a little quick boomerang. Or I should say that. Um, every now and then. And then he jumps into the air and shoots out a whole bunch of boomerang things. Sonic Slicer, quick boomerang. Um, I kind of forgot how to dodge them. I know you have to dash right, right as you're underneath it, but I kind of can't do it right now. Anyway. Um, his last attack is sometimes he'll run into the background. Like I saw there, I don't really have enough sub tank energy. He'll run into the background and jump into the air. You're kinda wanna, you'll kinda wanna look out there. Oh wow, that's surprising, I got the music just right. Huh. Anyway. So this time around I'm getting, I'm getting him better. And I almost dodged that one. Almost. Almost. I'm so close. Oh well. We'll just charge shot it. And uh, we'll get our next weapon and last one for today. Explode. Do, 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 do. We'll teleport away. Our cool kicks. And then we get the Sonic Slicer. So that's cool. 
and that's all for today. Um, like and subscribe. Uh, peace. And oh well, yeah. Peace and cheap. Have a good. Have a great week. <laughs>